Are we ready for self-driving vehicles? Of course we are. They're safer than ever, and when we have human drivers on the road that don't know what they're doing, why wouldn't we take the shot? Absolutely not. It's not worth the risk. The data isn't there, the tests aren't there. These things are not safe. They're contributing to accidents, deaths, and lawsuits. They're just, all in all, a bad way forward for the road and for drivers. Actually, we do have the data. Waymo, for example, back in December, they put out a study of about 7.5 million miles of user data. They found that when you have a AI-driven driver behind the wheel, not a human, it's actually 90% more safe than having just a regular person behind the wheel. Why wouldn't we take that? Well, that's funny because GM's crews back in 2020 said that they had 2 million miles of driver data over five years, and then they started rolling out these driverless cars on the road um, in San Francisco and other cities, and there were accidents. A woman got dragged 20 feet by a cruise car because the software just didn't register that she was stuck under its wheel and didn't stop. So how is that safety risk outweighed by what little data that they're willing to show us when that data doesn't actually result in more safety? You can't tell me that humans don't get to accidents, humans don't make mistakes. In 2021 alone, we had 42,000 people die from a car crash. That is way more than any robotaxi has in the past 15 years or so of testing. Yeah, because way less people are using driverless cars and robotaxis. Yes, there are only maybe in the hundreds or very low thousands of accidents for all robotaxis across brands, but there are only very few people that are using these driverless vehicles compared to the millions and millions of people in America that drive cars. And once we get more on the road, more people will drive them and we have more data. But nothing happens if we don't innovate, if we don't test things, and if we don't keep expanding. But at what point does innovation and testing, um, you know, reach a certain safety threshold? How can a company comfortably say, yes, we've done enough testing, we are ready to roll out these driverless vehicles on the road when there's actually no defined threshold for what safety even means in this case? That's on the federal government, that's on states. They need to make the regulation, they need to make the laws. The companies have to follow the law. If there's no law for them to follow, they have to do their best to keep uh, their people safe, to keep drivers safe, consumers safe. Right, but companies doing their best, when has that ever resulted in the best for people? Part of the reason businesses are going after this technology, not only because of the economic benefits, they're a company, they have that motive, of course they do, but because of what they can do for people. It's just a tool to help make your life easier, safer, and more comfortable. When you're on a highway, for example, going 80 miles an hour on a eight hour road trip, do you wanna be at the wheel the entire time, fully 100% paying attention? No, you want a minute, just a minute, to drink water, take a breath, look away, close your eyes. Right, but that's not how it's being marketed, and I think that that's where the biggest disconnect is, where these companies are saying, this is fully driverless, self-driving car, fully autonomous, and people are taking that at face value and not thinking critically about it, even if the companies put it in their fine print that, you know, this is just a tool, this is just a crutch, like you said, people are not getting that message, and that's not how they're treating these technologies, and then that's what's resulting in all of these accidents and problems. What they're doing is they're showing you the technology that we can use now in the modern day. Things like lane assist, cruise control, to help you keep safe right now. But in the near future, and we're getting closer every day, that technology will help you stay safe all the time. It will drive your car for you. You can sit back and relax and just let it take you on a trip. Right, but how long is it going to take to get to that point where not only can people trust this technology to be able to fully sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, but also feel you know, safe and secure in making those decisions for themselves and where this technology won't result in you know, more accidents and disproportionately higher levels of accidents than maybe human drivers. We don't have that data yet. We don't know yet. Thanks for watching. Check out QZ.com for more.